One more church was attacked Monday amidst rising religious tension in Malaysia following a high court ruling which allowed a Catholic weekly herald to use the word Allah to refer to God. The latest attack brings the total number of churches firebombed to eight, but no one has been injured. In a surprise twist, key organizers of last Friday's demonstration against the court verdict together with 130 Muslim non-governmental organizations have formed a group to protect the churches. They have said that they do not condone such attacks. These unprecedented attacks have gripped the country as Malaysians fear possible racial clashes. The country suffered a serious racial riot in May 1969, which left hundreds of people dead following clashes between the Malays and Chinese. Principally, of course, we oppose to this, uh, the usage of uh, the word Allah by the, the non-Muslims, so to speak. Burning of the church is another issue altogether, you know. We should understand that the, the principal matter behind the country is peace and harmony that we have enjoyed over the last many years. Prime Minister Najib Tun Razak has appealed for calm and promised that the police would arrest the arsonists soon. Despite the racial and religious tensions in the country, political experts say Malaysians have remained united. We are not sure that even those Assanis are Muslim. They could be, you know, uh, enemies of Islam who try to bring bad names to the faith. And as far as I see, there's no such thing as ethno-religious tension or division in this country. Most Malaysians are united. Uh, they, if there is a division, it's between the large population and some authoritarian politicians who want us to go back to authoritarianism. The police, meanwhile, have warned people not to take part in demonstrations planned in front of churches. Prime Minister Najib Tun Razak has promised to find a durable solution to the rising religious tensions in the country. His decision has been welcomed by politicians, human rights workers and representatives of the civil society. Maheshwari Ramakrishnan, Press TV, Kuala Lumpur.